Hey there, it's me, Ripper the Freaking Clown, the unpredictable cartoon character come to life, and I'm here with your WWE Survivor Series results that I read about on the freaking internet. But hey, before we get to the match-by-match -match results as they happen and as I read about them on the freaking internet, I need to say this about the whole contemporaneous Survivor Series concept. It sucks. You know, this whole champion versus champion thing only has one result. Demoralizing various champions in relation, obviously, to who loses tonight, all to fuel a silly angle that basically culminates tonight. It makes no sense to, demor to demoralize any champion in this fashion, but that's what they're going to do all freaking night of Survivor Series, and that's what they've always done in these kind of matches. WWE seems to enjoy burying many of its champions for absolutely no reason, and it's absolutely never made any freaking sense to me. And secondly, the whole brand versus brand, show versus show concept thing may have been innovative and interesting 10 or 15 years ago, but now it's just stale, it's old hat, and it's something no one really gives a shit about unless you find yourself irrationally and emotionally invested in one show over the other, like, you know, someone in emotionally invested in some baseball or football team over the other, which makes no sense to me either because, you know, they really don't stand for anything other than just winning. So, I mean, back in the day, Check this out. People wanted to see Jay the Snake Roberts defeat Ravishing Rick Rude in their feud due to the emotional and relatable implications of that feud. That's the way things were back in the day. People really cared about their feuds and these feuds, and they wanted to see one wrestler win over the other. And this time, the WWE is telling us that, you know, we're supposed to want one show to win over the other. And it just, I think it just, it's just a, um, a reflection of the WWE's lack of creative direction and having zero new ideas. But somehow, the WWE, they want their universe to favor one show over the other, which is just freaking silly. Especially considering that the entire roster will probably flip-flop shows again by next summer. And here's the deal, people. The whole Raw vs. SmackDown war culminating tonight at Survivor Series is insulting and offensive to anyone with a freaking intellect. You know, as if anything else in pro wrestling isn't offensive to the intellect, this just seems to take it to a new level. This feud is on the same insulting to the intellect level as any Kurt Angle backstage segment or any in-ring segment wherein Kurt Angle attempts to act in any form or fashion. You know, the same thing can be said about any backstage or in-ring segment with Daniel Bryan. But at least with Daniel Bryan, he seems to really hate his role with the WWE so much that he could probably give two craps if his acting look bad, looks bad because he just despises everything that he's being forced to do in the company. And if you watch carefully enough, beneath that fake smile and painfully scripted words where Daniel Bryan is pretending to care about what he's saying, you can almost see Daniel Bryan's soul being crushed. Every time he's forced to act in one of these I'm talking on a cell phone about something nonsensical when someone walks into the office to talk to me segments. With Kurt Angle, it's completely different because you could tell that Kurt Angle's really trying to act. And you could tell that he thinks it's working. But he seems void of the fact that his bug-eyed, disingenuous, and laughable acting makes John Cena look like the next Academy Award winner. Whew. All that said... Onward to the Survivor Series results as they happen. Hey, I just read on the freaking internet that The Shield defeated the New Day tonight at Survivor Series. And you know, uh, months ago when they uh, brought The Shield back together and they reunited them on Raw, it was really fantastic television. It was really well done. It reminded me of stuff that they do back in the day that actually made sense and it worked. And it's rare for me to praise anything they do, but I really enjoyed that Shield reunion. It was uh, really fun television. And it, so they build it and they build it and they build it and then it just petered out and went nowhere because of Roman Reigns and um, you know then the Shield reunion turned into Kurt Angle joining the fray for the night so I think that what they were trying to do was um, with the Survivor Series match kind of to bring the fans back to that whole magical reunion thing that they did a couple months ago but it just didn't really work and again I'm not watching this I'm just reading about it online but I can pretty much tell you it didn't work because that momentum they had a couple months ago when they rebuilt and reformed the shield um, when Roman Reigns you know got ill or whatever and did not attend that pay-per-view and they threw Kurt Angle into the mix the whole angle and the whole mystique of the shield being back together just went down the crapper and I honestly don't think they're going to be able to rebuild from that anyway I am Ripper the Clown stay tuned throughout the evening guys as I present to you all of the Survivor Series results that I've read about on the internet